we see them from above. But to enter their world is to see a wonder of nature. The humble alewife comes to Maine every spring to rejuvenate beast, bird, and even humans. Oh, it's just life happening. You know, it's just something that's an astonishing, um, just lively piece of life. Deb Wilson lives on the Damerscotta River, where huge swarms of the fish migrate every year, crowding the small alewife stream, pushing their way into the lake above to spawn. It's the same lake where these fish were born and where, through some unknown irresistible force, they swim back every year. So the fish that we have here today were born in Damariscotta Lake in 2017 or before. Mike Brown is a fisheries biologist for the Department of Marine Resources. They're coming back either for the first time to spawn um, as four-year-olds or as five, six, sevens if uh, they're able to live that long. For most of those four years, these fish, which are technically called river herring, have been at sea, someplace the scientists don't know where. And they all form a vital link in nature's food chain because just about everything wants to eat them. Not only do they supply um, a forage species for inland fish, like bass, um, perch, pickerel pike, whatever you like to fish for inland, but also for the marine species as well. It's, it's, a, it's a forage um, species that um, is preyed upon by both uh, adult and juvenile fish while at sea. Food for animals on land too, and more raucously for birds. It's the time when so many birds, eagles, osprey are all nesting, and this is what they feed their young. So it's all coordinated, it's all just part of nature that means to happen together. And people. The old timers learned alewives were important, so more than 200 years ago, they hand dug and built the first fish ladder here in Damariscotta Mills to get the fish around the falls and into the lake. The alewives are still harvested here for lobster bait, and rebuilding the fish ladder a decade ago brought a big increase in the numbers of fish getting into the lake, meaning more of them to come back each year. We've had a, approximately a million fish for the last five or six years. With a million fish a year going into Damariscotta Lake, the rebuilding of this fish ladder has been a great success story. But about 50 miles farther inland, there is another success story that shows how remarkable and resilient these little fish really are. Welcome to Benton on the Sebastocook River, now home to Maine's largest alewife run and the biggest harvest of fish for bait. There's days that, you know, we leave with 100 bushel, there's days we don't leave till we get 800 bushel. Jim Watton comes all the way from Friendship to manage the bait harvest. It's a throwback to the old days. Small skips are filled with fish, then hauled to shore where they're loaded into crates. This fills a huge void and is really important to the springtime lobster fishery in Maine. The fish come here by the millions, hauled up by elevator every few minutes. Three or four thousand at a time pour into this channel, then through electronic counting tubes, where they can actually be watched before they swim back into the river. So far this year, two and a half million fish have been lifted over the dam and well over half a million more hauled out for bait. You know, we've had river otter here. We've had seals here, you know, 70 plus miles from the ocean that will follow this resource uh, once it came back into being, you know. Uh, you know, up in, you know, when they built the da Edwards Dam in 1837, all that stopped. Fisheries biologist Nate Gray reminds us that a little more than 20 years ago, there were no alewives here. The Edwards Dam on the Kennebec blocked fish passage upstream. That dam was torn out in 1999, another one removed a few years later, and the alewives came surging back. Amazingly resilient. Gray says Essex Hydro, which owns and generates power from the dam, has been a strong partner in restoring the alewives. Mainers should be tremendously proud because now we have one of the largest runs, if not the largest run in extant in the globe. So that's an amazing thing and it's a rare bird. The biologists call the alewife a keystone species because it supports so many other forms of life. 
and each year after winter has gone, they are splashy celebrations that life is once again coming back. In Benton, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.